I've seen more holes in this house. Do you ever go somewhere and forget you a hole? Now you fuck around and be at a party, see about two, three motherfuckers you done fucked. You'll be like, Lord, I got to get the fuck up out of here. I feel like a hole up in here. <laughs> I'm telling you, hoe is a miss a motherfucker. It is. Hoe is a miss a motherfucker. Hoe is a miss a motherfucker. But I think the only thing that's funnier than being a hoe is seeing somebody that used to be a hoe. You ever see somebody that used to be a hoe? Now they born again Christian. Now they saved. They done got married, had some children. And they want to be judgmental against you. But they forgot that they used to be a hoe. And my only thing is this. I know everybody should go through a stage in life where they want to get their life right with God. But when you're working on getting your life right, give a motherfucker a sign that you're working on getting your life right. No, because it can fuck you up. I ran into a girlfriend of mine that they hadn't seen in a long time. I was a little bit excited to see the bitch, so I ran up on her, talking to her like we usually talk. I ran up to her, I was like, bitch! Girl, I ain't seen you in a long ass motherfucking time. Girl, remember the last time we was in Atlanta, bitch, we was balling. Girl, we was kicking it with them niggas, we was getting fucked up. <laughs> bitch, you was so drunk that night, you fucked a nigga in the truck, bitch. You was drunker than a motherfucker. I said, bitch, what you been doing? She said, I'm saved now. So you know I couldn't let that bitch shine on me. I said, me too. My bad, bitch. Shit, I ain't no shit. Hang some Bibles from your earrings or something, shit. Put on some white gloves. Put some pearl necklaces on or something. Give a bitch a sign that you're working on your life. You ever see a motherfucker that's saved but they still wear their whole clothes? This bitch got on a halter top with a cross necklace. You be like, come on, bitch. But I'm gonna tell you one thing about hoism is this. If you ever, 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 ever been a hoe ever in your life, you're always gonna have some hoe like tendencies. You will. And one hoe like tendency is this. Whenever somebody touch the back of your neck, your mouth gonna fly wide the fuck open. Oh shit, what's wrong, Sister Johnson? Nothing, girl. Just jail that part. Don't curl that. Just jail that part down. Jail that part down. And jail that down. Jail that down. And men, y'all married women, y'all don't know this bitch background. You don't know if she used to be a hoe. But I can tell you a sign to watch for. Watch the signs. When she get out the shower, if she lotion her knees before she lotion her face. Nine times out of ten, this bitch used to be a home. I'm telling you, and it's always men. Men will lead you into hoism. They will. Men will lead you into doing some whole light shit. Like fucking in the ass. Now see, when I said fucking in the ass, some of y'all said straight up, ooh. Ooh, shit. Because some of y'all sitting out there right now, asshole, sword in the motherfucker. Because somebody done convinced you that fucking in the ass is some freaky shit. You sitting in this bitch scared to sneeze because you might lose a kidney in this motherfucker. Oh, shit, girl, I got to go to the bathroom, girl. Girl, Junior got my shit all fucked up. 